Okay, this is some work that I've been putting in in Ultra Street Fighter 4. I've had a stream up the last couple days at twitch.tv slash ultrachentv where I've been going over this big Google Doc that I wrote with all the things I wanted to test, and I've basically just been testing stuff. So uh, I'm going to show some of the things that I've found that I think are among the more interesting. I re-recorded them for this, it's not direct from the stream or anything. But uh, let's, anyway, let's hop in now. Uh, so the first one is a piece of tech that I didn't come up with, but that I saw from Japan that's really I important to Hugo's game. So I'm establishing the fact that that does not work from that range. In fact, D Ryu DP goes right through. But if you carry cancel palm into ultra throw, which is half circle back kick, you get that. You get this crazy good range. Uh, and I'll have a link. At, uh, I'll have a description of how to do that below. This is just showing kind of like the corner control. People keep comboing into into stand medium punch there, but I think that's stupid. I would rather just get this corner because you can see all the things you can do there, right? I had the high from that range. I had the low from that range. Um, you have the pestering with claps and with stand medium punch from that range. Um, but also from that same range is Kara Cancel Palm into Ultra Throw, which is so good, so good. Unfortunately, um, I haven't found a way to put Rufus back into the corner after that yet, uh, but well, I'm working on it. So now I'm showing, okay, Rufus thinks it's throw time. Let me try to jump backwards. No. You can't. Let me try to jump and then like land earlier or like attack. No. Stand Fierce. Stand Fierce is such a crazy button. I kind of can't believe that they let it through all the way and I kind of also can't believe that I haven't seen other Hugos use it that much. Um, okay. Rufus is getting bothered. Why are you doing this to me constantly? I'm just gonna I'm gonna panic out. EX Messiah, nope. Similar kind of stuff. Okay. Oh, actually, no. I think, you, yeah, right now I'm showing Ultra 2. This is Ultra 2 range. It's basically like 60% screen, 65%, something like that, two-thirds. Um, it works a little bit farther than Yun double backdash. A little bit farther. Um, and so now I'm just going to show, like, hey, can I land first? Can I, like, get under it? Not really, is the answer. I'll just let you in on the secret preemptively. He's just there. It's weird. Like he he like teleports to where the opponent is. It's not like he like moves forward really. It's he just he's there. I don't know. All right, let's move to Dan. This is not a setup that I came up with. I'll have the name of the guy who came up with it below. Also, it's a really cool setup. This is just to show that it's safe. I mean, obviously it's safe because I got an ultra out before getting punished by DP. But look what happens if they crouch. What? It's a cross up, and also you juggle into ultra two. Rad. Super rad. You might be thinking, okay, let me do some delayed getup. Also, no. So that's pretty sweet. I like that. I really like that. Uh, here's a combo with Dan. A couple combos with Dan. Practical ones, too, is the thing. Dang. That was four bars, but I mean, you could do three. Oh, that's just one. You could do three with... Uh, with that and still be pretty solid. This is a Geef combo. What? He got stunned and then I moved him like all the way towards the corner. And this is a safe jump setup uh, that uses up Fierce Headbutt again. So you'll see that you have to actually block it or get hit by it. Like it's it's not one of these stupid things where it doesn't actually touch. And then Geef tries to bug me, man. Let me just like reset the situation, Geef. God. Keep doing what I programmed you to do. Get out of here. Okay. And then this is just to show that it is, in fact, a safe jump against five frame reversals. If the opponent uh, does not quick rise, oh, I really should have shown that. But you can just do another f jump fierce headbutt again, and you get another safe jump, and it's really easy timing. Here's the show, Dalsum, right? So his buff, back medium kick, goes to flame better. Does it? Really? Oh, thanks for getting hit by that, Yun. I appreciate that. It's nice. It's very nice. Okay, that's that's like his buff, right? Like, stand short juggles. At UFGT, I really, I swear, playing to win and I got back medium kick off of that mid-screen, and it just doesn't work anymore. Only stand short. It's crazy. Uh, at least against most characters. There's some character-specific stuff, but mostly just stand short. Um, so corner, right? Like Here's what you can do. You can teleport back, I suppose. 
Uh, that was not what, that was not intentional. Hold on. The real setup's incoming. Incoming! Alright, so like, they have to land into EX Flame. But I, that means I spend two bars and I, you see the damage, it's not fantastic. Now I'm going to show the totally buffed Light Kick Up Flame with its buffed hitbox. So much better. You already saw it got hit. Meh. It can trade, but can you combo afterward? No. Not mid-screen. Now this is EX. EX hitbox got buffed horizontally, supposedly, but I, to be honest, really haven't noticed it. So I'm just showing that you can combo into whatever. After, but only if it trades. So like, if it's also takes damage, then he can do a trade. He can, like, well, that is to say he can do a combo afterward. Uh, here's showing another little corner trade situation with light kick up blast which I'm probably never gonna do because it only works on trade and I'm never gonna use light kick up blast yay well that's it so like I said I've been working on stuff I will probably continue to do so over the next coming days uh, I have a, just a tremendous amount of things I want to test and I haven't really gotten to Hakan yet and there are other characters I want to test so if you're interested, you can go check it out at twitch.tv slash Uh You can follow along or subscribe there, and that way you'll find out when I start streaming. It's going to be at random times. It's not like normal Ultra Chen shows. It's just kind of whenever I feel like it. So, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.